we we're doing a new album. The longer the time gets, the more daunting it it seems like an idea t- to do. And you know, people were, were saying to me when I, you know, it's going to be a new soft style album. And eventually, I just said, well, I don't think there is because I just can't see myself getting ahead on. You know, it, the, the thought is so scary doing it. It's such a big thing to to do that I'm thinking, well. I mean, is it going to be right? What's it going to be like? You know, I, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can write in that way. I'm not sure. So the longer it gets, the more difficult it, 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 it becomes, really. And I thought, you know, it would be nice to write some more songs, do some more songs. I don't know, getting that, that head on again, fear of that. And I was thinking, well, um, you know, it would be nice to do a, some sometime a concert that's a bit more soft sell feels like a soft sell concert which we which we're usually there with the audience there's a bit more people could actually see us and they're actually there quite near us it's a bit more of a, have an intimacy um and so but i thought well no it's probably never going to happen it's never going to happen you know and i thought now we've sort of sort of c- kind of like put ourselves into a corner now because we've said well that's the last one we're ever gonna <laughs> we're ever gonna do so i was kind of thinking i we shouldn't have said that really <laughs> then let's do an album i thought well, well you know we've got to give it some kind of thematic thing. And I thought, what are we going to do? And I thought, I thought, well, the idea would be something like future nostalgia, which would be... Um, it's a great be, title, which, that. Yeah, which would be this, this view of the future that we had in the past. But for some reason, we all thought it was really rosy and really nice and we were, we were all going to be really happy and everything was going to be cured and we were all going to be brilliant. We we're going to fly around in flying cars and things like that. Was, so I thought Future Nostalgia was a great title. And then along came Dua Lipa and did an album called Future, future Nostalgia. I just thought... Oh, well, what would you say about soft cell songs? I just want to say, well, I, I put soft cell asterisks, happiness not included. It <laughs> 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 and I, and I just, just, just kind of stuck, really. I, I don't think I've had anything, oh, nothing to really thank COVID for much, really. But if it was to anything positive came out of it, I think it was it enabled me to chance to actually sit down and actually write lyrics because there was nobody else around, nothing else disturbing me or, or, or taking me off in other directions or things like that. And Dave would send me like a, a tune like, and they were really inspiring me, the, the tunes. So I thought, God, I hope I really like the tunes. And I did really like the tunes and there was a lot of tunes as well. No, we made sure there was tons because yeah. we've got so much time. So I know, you must have had about 25 new pieces. I mean, some of them still unreleased, you know I mean? So we were, there's, you were going to get bonus tracks from us because we always, we always write, write too much stuff, you know, which is, is a nice position to be in. What I did, I sat down and I tried not to write songs about coronavirus or the virus or, or COVID or lockdown. things like That would have been so obvious. And the, and the first songs were a bit like that. I sort of wrote a song called Strange Kind of Dance because I went to the supermarket and there was, all, there was all arrows painted along the floor. Everybody had to stand here, stand there, walk left, walk left, right. Everyone had to walk around each other. And it was this weird dance everyone's doing, waving from each other from across the road, you know. And I thought, this is just the very weirdest thing. And I really liked that track a lot, but I just thought, if you put too much the references about that time, the two things, first of all, it dates the, al- it, the album really quickly. Another thing, I think people are just going to want no reminder, really, of it whatsoever once it's all over, you know. I wrote the track, Happiness Not Included. One day I was just feeling really, really angry and pissed off, but then you turn on the news, it's just the same old thing going over and over. And I felt really kind of, really angry about it. And I just came up with this kind of diatribe, really, spewing out all this kind of like, you know, stuff that I felt kind of angry about. I mean, the original words went on and on and on and on. I had lots and lots of expletives in it. I was just getting, getting angrier and angrier and angrier. And I thought, I'd better edit this down because it's just, it's just going, going on and goes on. And That's the down. remix then. <laughs> <laughs> so I wrote that just really on a very angry day, you know. So Ria was just basically spending not too much time writing them. You know, spending like six hours in a day and then leave it and then come back to it and then start the next one just sort of stockpiling and, make, and making notes. A lot of it was with, was with kind of film soundtracks, which was always my go-to kind of place, and atmospheres, and I played around a lot with scales. I was sort of getting my music books out a bit and, and working out what, why certain chords made you feel happy and sad and 
trying to include them in certain ways. So being a bit more sort of theoretical and teaching myself a few a few things that, I, <laughs> that before I just kind of assumed. So actually trying to find out why they they work. So it was yeah. I, it was I had the time to do it. Like Mark said, he had the time to you know to ponder lyrics and themes. I had time to sort of go through some music theory books and kind of learn my what I, my craft a bit better, I guess. I try to think of all the songs as like little films, you know, little kind of film noir sort of movies. I imagine them kind of having a beginning and end. I imagine them in kind of well, visual like terms. Kind of yeah. I always think that I, when Mark and I work together, it's like, like you know, Mark is writing the, the script and I'm, I'm writing the soundtrack, you know. I always think of it in filmic terms.